G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today is all about announcing Virtual Voyage number four. And the theme is, drum roll please, even though you've just seen it, Pixar. <laughs> I'm very, very, very excited to be finally announcing this theme. It has felt like I've kept it a secret for five years even though it's only been a couple of months. <laughs> um, yeah, I do actually start working on these things a few months in advance, or well, I mean, nowadays. Now that I know just how overly involved they all are, <laughs> I'd make sure I give myself a long time, but I don't like to reveal the theme until we're close to the registration opening because I um, things change all the time, actually. In one of the live streams I did about a month ago, I mentioned that two of the themes I had initially started working with didn't end up uh, fitting this overall umbrella theme I decided to go with and uh, yeah so I was actually saying before we had chosen uh, Princess and the Frog was one of them and uh, Peter Pan was also one of the other themes but I eventually decided to settle on an overall umbrella theme much like we did for Virtual Voyage 2 and 3. The first one we did obviously like the first of anything is a lot of figuring it all out and also if you don't know what I'm talking about if you have no idea what Virtual Voyage is the quick explanation is it's a live uh, workshop experience about art journaling and it's themed for inspiration open for imagination <laughs> that's our tagline I'm gonna link a blog post I just wrote last week in the description box go check that out it's super comprehensive it will show you literally everything inside virtual voyage what you can expect from the content even down to what like some of our live art parties look like there are screenshots and everything I really went overboard with that blog post so please go and check that out if you want to learn more about it or just have a peek into what the previous three virtual voyages have looked like and what's been inside there because honestly so much happens I actually don't get to share a lot of it on social media just because it's it so much happens and it's over before we know it <laughs> the first one was four weeks um, and then the last two we've had have been two week long virtual voyage experiences this one we're doing right now for the summer of this uh, 2021 uh, we're calling it the lamplight cruise it is Pixar theme is the overall theme uh, over Halloween last year Wow my <laughs> sorry my throat just cracked <laughs> Over Halloween last year, we did the Halloween cruise that was Burtonville. So we did lots of the work of Tim Burton. We studied kind of Tim Burton's art style and looked at a lot of his movies that he had done and worked with that as our inspiration. And the last one we did, Virtual Voyage 3, was the Red Curtain Cruise. And that was the, um, the four movies uh, that we pulled from Baz Luhrmann. So it was Moulin Rouge, The Great Gatsby, Strictly Ballroom, and um, oh goodness, what's the, th what's the fourth one? Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it feels like it was years ago already. Um, so yeah, we the first one was four weeks long, the second and the third were two weeks long, and now we're going back to a four week one just so we can have a great time together this summer. And uh, yeah, our themes, we have four themes that we're going to, or we, we like to call them ports of inspiration. Um, so Pixar is the overall, we're doing the Lamplight Cruise, uh, so that means there will be some other like little Pixar things thrown in there, but the four major themes I'm actually journaling with today in today's video. And I decided to do, in today's journaling, lots of art that was kind of related to the secondary characters. I'm gonna say, well here's the thing, some of them are kind of main characters, but they're like secondary mains. <laughs> they're not primary main characters. But I mean, Boo kind of is. I'm not quite sure what I was really trying to go for, but I have in my mind the four uh, movies that we chose. I have two characters from each that are like the main, main characters. So, uh, you know, the first movie we started with today, uh, which is our first port of inspiration, is Inside Out. Oh, wow, goodness. Struggled to get that out. Inside Out, which is one of the more recent Pixar movies and one that I absolutely adore. And it fits the art journaling theme so, so well. I can't wait to share uh, some of the content that's created for that. This is um, Bing Bong, the one I've done on the video today, but also I consider the two main characters in Inside Out, Joy and Sadness. So this is what I mean, like how there's mains, there's two mains, and then there seems to be all these other secondary mains. Uh, so Bing Bong is the imaginary friend, and uh, I've decided to do some sketches and painting today. I'm using my Uni Jetstream Edge ballpoint pen. It's a super fine, I think it's 0.28 millimeter, uh, ballpoint pen and I love it because it is ballpoint 
uh, like it's kind of that oil-based ink so it's not going to move with my watercolor and it's really really fine it's a really fine line so I've used that to sketch today I've just gone straight in with pen to keep myself loose and happy and you know just not worrying about too much <laughs> and then I'm using watercolors that were sent to me and they're just the most beautiful palettes and most gorgeous watercolors some of them are quite opaque because um, there's a lot of pastel kind of vintage tones in there but it turns out but like absolutely beautifully so I'm, I'm going to show you kind of using all of the watercolors today um, but they're all from a brand called hungry for paint I'll link that in the description box as well I'm not sponsored but in full transparency these were sent to me for free um, and so I think that's always important to kind of mention uh, but I was not asked to review them or anything I've just been using them in my personal time and you can see for yourself I mean look at the gorgeous granulation on bing bong there I mixed I mixed some of the pink with the purple in that palette right down the bottom right hand corner um, I oh goodness I don't know what the palettes are called I will just link you to the website below and you can go and check out because they are handmade watercolors um, I think from Europe somewhere in Europe uh, and yeah I don't actually know what's available but as with handmade watercolors um, and I've mentioned these for a while now they can be hard to get your hands on so um, yeah I'll just let you go and have a look and see what you might like I love the big vintage illustration set I have that um, yeah, I have a bunch all the ones I'm using today are from, uh, from hungry for paint so I thought I'd let you know that the brush I'm using is a black velvet like silver black velvet is that what it's called <laughs> I've forgotten a round brush a size 6 I think in any case those are the oh and my journal is just a hand bound signature with Canson cold press watercolor paper 300 GSM so those are my materials I'm using today just in case you're curious and like I said the four ports of inspiration so the four themes we're gonna visit are inside out is our first uh, the second one we're going to is monsters Inc and more of this information will all come out as well I'm just kind of giving you the themes today Pixar is our umbrella theme and the four stories we're going to focus on uh, one each week uh, is Inside Out, Monsters Inc, Coco and Toy Story. So I'm really excited because they kind of run the gamut from, you know, real classic Pixar like Toy Story and Toy Story in itself has four movies up until this point. So uh, not to mention there are also lots of shorts like uh, animated shorts on Disney Plus that kind of flesh out some other character stories and, you know, side stories. So there's so much theming to already pull from. And if you've done our virtual voyages before, you know, it's like once you get the inspiration percolating in your brain, it's really hard not for it to be become this massive snowball avalanche effect that just keeps you know like running over and over and over and over and over again so um, I'm already at the point where I have too many ideas uh, for, for even the time that we have and I'm gonna do my best to pack in as much as I can uh, not only within the experience but to also let you keep diving into it afterwards as well I will encourage you if you've never done one of these before uh, first of all to go and check out that blog post so that you can understand what the workshop is really like it is live so from June 14th we will start four weeks of a live workshop experience which means I'm gonna be in there with you I'm gonna be doing uh, like art parties get-togethers live on zoom we'll be doing lessons will be dripped out to you like throughout the week so everything's not there all at once it kind of is released to you uh, day by day there is an itinerary and a kind of schedule we go to it is all planned out to make sure that there are things that are educational but then you also get a break and you have time to catch up and you also have time to sit back and relax and enjoy some of the inspirational more entertainment based content because there is a lot of varied content going on in there um, and most importantly I think what I would like to stress and this is why I make my videos and you know make sure I say it as many times as I can if you have the opportunity to do it live you're considering maybe oh I'll, I'll wait until the end of the year maybe I'll have more time then or you know maybe I'll do it after the fact there's nothing wrong with doing that at all but you will get the most out of it if you do it alongside everybody in a live capacity just because there's something different I, I can't really put my finger on why it's so different um, and and not to say that there's nothing there's anything wrong with watching live replays afterwards because we make sure that we always post you know once we've done our art party we'll post the live replay for you but there's just something different about knowing that everyone is all kind of you know they've taken the hours they've set them aside and we're all kind of doing it together in that moment and that you also get to interact in the chat because a lot of that experience also becomes a way for me to gauge where a lot of our students are at in real time which is a 
a unique experience for workshops because the workshops I typically create are pre-filmed and there's a lot of assumed knowledge, there's a lot of, um, you know, work at your own pace, a lot of self-study. And for these live workshops, I really encourage people to express maybe some of the areas that they're having an issue with or maybe some of the uh, discoveries that they've found because then there becomes this opportunity for us to engage real time with some, you know, really fresh perspectives that are very specifically formulated and targeted towards the group of people that are experiencing that workshop at the same time. So I would always encourage you to do it live if you can do it live. If you can't do it live, that is absolutely no problem. Like I said, there are replays and you can uh, self-study if you would like. But we also have things like forums and stuff. And, uh, and some people host their own separate, like we have a whole forum section where you can post if you're doing live stream schedules, like maybe you're going to complete one of your lessons and you want a few of your other Virtual Voyage passengers to hang out with. Maybe you can create your own Zoom stream. Uh, you can post that in the forum and you can go and hang out with each other when, uh, you know, when there isn't content happening within Virtual Voyage. Uh, but I will say the, the schedule is usually pretty packed. <laughs> so, um, you know, it, it's all up to you. It's about how much time you have to be able to enjoy it and um, and yeah I think everyone gets something different out of it to be honest I I find it hard to speak from the perspective as, as of a student because I have never done virtual voyage as a student um, so I would encourage you also if you have done one of the virtual voyages before if you could just leave down maybe one of your in the comments below if you wouldn't mind just leaving some of your experiences there if you feel like it they don't all have to be good either you can just read me for filth in the comments <laughs> if you want um, no but I would just encourage you to share whatever it is that yeah you found like you had a good time with just so that other people can get a good uh, gauge on that you're all really good at actually sharing that I've seen lots of comments and it's uh, it's very heartwarming thank you for sharing that in the past but um, yeah I don't I don't want to give you the impression that I could really tell you what it's like from the perspective of, of a student because I am not the student I uh, I'm the host so it could be different I do know one thing though from when I have been a student in the past you really do get out whatever you want to get out of it. And, uh, and if you can just go and search the hashtags on, uh, on Instagram, the JLB virtual voyage hashtags, you can really see that some people will dedicate a lot of their time, uh, you know, during the live workshop experience and then also afterwards to going to get the most of the education out of the lessons, to really pulling out some of that theory and working with a lot of that technique. And then some other people are just there to have fun, to do lighthearted activities, to engage socially. And I don't see a problem with any of it uh, it's more just you know what do you want to get out of the experience and how do you want to uh, you know what do you want to have at the end of it do you want to have a journal full of notes and learning and um, you know experiments and and tests or do you want to have a journal of finished examples and you know neat work and or do you just want to have fun <laughs> and just chat to people while we have art parties and play games it, it really is up to you and I would encourage you to uh, read those comments if you haven't tried it before also to again to go visit the blog post because there really is almost everything you need to know on that blog post and I think it'll do a really good a really good job of uh, filling in any gaps because I know every time I talk about it I talk about one specific thing and then I miss all of the other things um, but I'm very excited to jump into these themes. I, uh, I obviously love um, Disney and I love, by extension, Pixar. The themes have such great stories, such great characters. And like we did with Virtual Voyage 3, I want to make uh, one little distinction for Virtual Voyage 4. Um, because we always like to change something, right? We like to plus it in some kind of way. Virtual Voyage 3, we actually had kind of a directive for the education that was happening. So it really focused heavily on feminine faces and feminine fashion forms. Virtual Voyage 4 has a specific focus on style, artistic style, how to work with it, how to extract it, and how to build on it. So we're actually going to be very, um, how do I say it without giving it all away? <laughs> we're going to be pretty focused on a few different artists and their style, much like what we did with Tim Burton in Virtual Voyage 2, uh, where we just looked at Tim Burton's art style and tried to extract a lot of information from it and to play and create with it. We're going to do the same thing with a bunch of different artists for Virtual Voyage 4. I won't give away too much right now, but they're a good handful of very different, um, you know, very creative artists throughout time in history 
<laughs> we're gonna look at um, actually probably a bit more modern than any kind of uh, ancient artists but we're going to look at that pulling apart that and creating with all these wonderful themes and learning about style as we go so that is going to be a bit of a focus of virtual voyage 4 and if it's something you're interested in it is definitely something we're going to really really look at and play with until now i'll leave the rest as a secret thank you for watching today's video and i'm so excited to join you for virtual voyage 4 in june bye